the 24 Hours of Le Mans. At 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon, 52 cars take off from the pits out onto one of the most noted tracks in the racing world. On the morning of the big event, the crowd begins to fill the stands and line the curves and straightaways of the eight-mile course. Before the race, each car is honed to a peak of mechanical perfection. Tires get special attention. The demands put on them by both cars and course are staggering. Wheel balancing. Wheels are balanced, pressures checked. Safety, as well as performance, is a prime consideration. Nothing is left to chance. Some of these tires even have an inner safety spare. Preparations continue until the last minute. Spare wheels are painted with fluorescent paint for easier handling at night. Light rain showers cause a tire change before the race even begins. Wider tread for better traction. There it is, the famous Le Mans start. The first 24-hour race at Le Mans took place in 1923. In the years that followed, French automobiles and their drivers dueled with the English and Italians for victory. Bent, Alfa Romeo, Bugatti, Jaguar, Mercedes-Benz, Aston Martin. Then, Ferrari. Now, a new challenger to Ferrari dominance. An American, the Ford GT Mark II. Right from the start, American strategy is clear. Get out in front, stay there. Force Ferrari to press, then wait for the strongest to survive. The duel between Ford and Ferrari continues. As the night wears on, it becomes more and more apparent that the Americans are wearing Ferrari down. Before dawn, Ford GTs have broken the lap record for the Le Mans course nine times. And by daybreak, Ferrari has literally been run off the track. Mid-morning on Sunday, on the 270th lap, the leading American car, driven by Dan Gurney, is forced out with an overheated engine. American cars still remain. Miles home. McLaren Amon. Buckton Hutchison. Now it's only a matter of time. Time and endurance. The Americans slow their pace to ensure the finish. In the last hour of the long ordeal, a downpour slows the pace even more. The American cars come in one, two, three, with cars number one and number two in a deliberate dead heat. Actually, the drivers of number two car, Bruce McLaren and Chris Amon, are judged the winners because of a technicality. Their car started 10 meters behind number one, Ken Miles and Dennis Holm. It broke all Le Mans records by going over 3,000 miles 350 laps around the eight-mile course, an average of 125 miles an hour. But the victory is truly an all-around American triumph for both cars and tires. Goodyear and Ford.